audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading Capricorn. Now I also do your weekly general uh, reading for your zodiac sign Capricorn which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. <clears throat> Excuse me. But when it comes to any of my readings Capricorn, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you Capricorn. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Um, if you find some cards that resonate with you though, be sure to let me know in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, right? I love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards because that's just... You know, I just enjoy hearing how uh, the progression of y'all's lives, I guess. That probably sounds creepy. Um, <laughs> uh, but also, if you do enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, uh, Capricorn, because it does help out this channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, this reading is here just to give you some perspective, Capricorn. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I'm just here to give you some food for thought as you go throughout your week and a perspective to consider. Uh, so let's start getting into your reading now, Capricorn. I also see, noticed a card, I feel, that was flipped. Maybe, maybe I'm just crazy, honey. But I thought there was a card that was flipped in here and I, okay, I'm not crazy. This card came, this card, out of them were out somehow. So definitely, I guess this card wanted to come in for the overall energy as well, Three of Cups. So celebration card. Um, see the big picture. So I definitely don't see, even though this is a you versus them reading, uh, Capricorn, I definitely see this involving more than just you two in some way. Now this third energy could just be a project, but I really do see this as like another person as well. Um, but I won't read too much into that. Uh, the animal cards that we have for you is the giraffe spirit, number 29, equaling to 11 for numerology. So write that down, uh, Capricorn. But the giraffe spirit says, look at the bigger picture of things. So uh, in this, I'm gonna actually read it off with this other animal card for you, which is the rattlesnake card. Give me a moment. Uh, the rattlesnake card says the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation to fulfilling your purpose as a healer. If you're wondering what I was doing, um, <laughs> Capricorn, I keep busy. I'm uploading videos at the same time, so I have my laptop over there, honey. I, we get we get these videos rolling, honey. But um, I just felt the need to explain that. But yeah, let's take this down. Let's break this down. This rattlesnake card, I know it says like the initiation to a healer. But put it in perspective, like, we can't have a card for everything, right? This, I more so see this as, like, your, this is a week of, like, um, spiritual lessons, right? And the giraffe spirit comes into seeing the bigger picture. It's kind of being, like, see the bigger picture in things. See what this is trying to teach you, Capricorn. See what's, where spirit's trying to guide you, where to, where spirit's trying to direct you. Um, because overall, it's trying to get you to the celebration card. Um, with this three of cups where you're just like in this state of happiness um, but perhaps you're going through like a little bit of a spiritual experience when it comes to this person and usually when it comes to spiritual experiences that just is like a fancy word for um, dealing with some possible triggers when it comes to this person dealing with some doing some shadow work right uh, lessons when it comes to this person just you know it's, them holding a mirror up to your face and realizing your issues or them just like forcing you to have to be a bigger person and just like mature to handle them but capricorn we're gonna start pulling some tarot now we're gonna pull a card for you capricorn we're gonna pull a card for them we're gonna pull a card for the energy between y'all two and then we'll get into some clarifiers to get a better picture of everything but capricorn for your side of things we have the what is this the moon card, 18 equaling to 9. So also write that down for uh, numerology, Capricorn. So you have 11 and 9 to look up later after this reading. Uh, the moon card, though. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. The moon card is a card of something being revealed to you, something going on more than what meets the eye um, on things. When it comes to the situation, um, I kind of see this as like a... Definitely kind of anticipate 
um, Capricorn, something might happen this week. I don't see this in a bad way, but I see like something that you wouldn't expect when it comes to this connection and panning, like coming to light this week. So I'm going to say on that, maybe we'll get some insight in terms of tarot, but I really, I honestly, and I would tell you, I have no problem. I have no qualms about being honest when it comes to these readings, right? I don't get a bad sense from that moon card. Um, but yeah, their side of things. Oh, but another major arcana. I don't know why I made that sound. Um, number 13, four for numerology, but that's more so for them. I guess if you want to tell them, <laughs> Capricorn to be like, oh, hey, like, right, look up four for numerology for them. Uh, but this card says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. So they are releasing something. They are in this place of... I mean, I don't... It's just releasing stuff, I guess. I don't know what else to really say about that um, without clarifiers. So, and the energy between y'all two is the Five of Earth or the Five of Pentacles. Um, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. This Virgo, why am I calling you Virgo? Capricorn, to me, is reading off as like anxiety on both sides when it comes to this connection. Um, but neither side wanting to ask for help, neither side wanting to go to the other person and be like, hey, I'm struggling, or going to the other person and communicating, being like, hey, I need your help with this, or hey, like, um, I just need a little bit more affection this week, right? It feels like there's just a lot of reserved energy on both sides where it's just like, you're feeling a bunch of things and keeping it contained, and they're feeling a bunch of things, Capricorn, and they're keeping it contained, and it's just like, well, what are we gonna do? Y'all are just doing all this containment, and then you're both ending up as being like two, like, anxiety, like, lows, just two anxiety lows, right? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I'm crazy, Capricorn. I've done so many readings today, and it's late at night. I'm sorry. Um... But yeah, let's get into some tarot though. Let's get into some clarifiers when it comes to this. I'm going to start pulling some cards for your moon side of things. Maybe we'll get some insight on... This card did want to come out though. King of Water, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy heart, uh, heartfelt advice and charity work. <laughs> that face I just did. Um, this kind of does seem to be, again, a push Capricorn to talk to them to talk to them and get their advice, or maybe at the very least get advice from an outside source that's not connected to this person at all. You wanna also make sure if you get advice from someone else that it's not like a biased energy and it's not gonna be someone that just is going to blow smoke up your, um, you know what, right? You want someone that's gonna be honest and give, like, see both sides of things, right? Because I think you just need a different perspective. Um, but yeah, this is talking about trustworthy advice. This is talking about opening up. It's just interesting. There's a theme here. There's a theme here, uh, Capricorn. But let's start getting into Terra now, as I was saying before. Let's get into this. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. The Fool card. You're definitely closing something out. Uh, closing out a cycle rather, because I associate tens with the closure of something, uh, Capricorn. So when I see the Ten of Pentacles, I see this as you're ready for s stability. You're ready to really have something to build off on now. You're not in this place. You don't want to have like things being up in the air anymore. You don't want things that you don't know about going on behind the scenes, right? That's what you fear is like more instability. Um, you don't, we don't want to deal with things, like, you want to know what you're waking up to, right? Um, Ten of Swords comes in of where it's just like, and this probably could just be in relation to this person as well, of where it's just like, this person has really caused you a lot of pain, whether it's intentional or not, and this pain could just be about, like, your mental pain. You're, like, it just is, like, mentally taxing for you. And you're just looking to be able to just like have like a sense of release, being able to just finally have a connection where you can just be that fool and just fully have faith in this connection. Now, um, I'm aware right now of my wording that you, it seems as if that you wouldn't be able to have it with this person. I do kind of get the sense that you could, honestly, because right, we have this three of cups that we, have, we keep having these cards that can come out extra for you, Capricorn. Like this card is extra for you. 
which is a celebration card, which is like that sharing of cups together. This is a card uh, that actually that came out for you as well, asking for you to open up your heart to those around you. There does seem to be this push, Capricorn, to open up to this person and practice this full energy. Now, I know that's easier said than done, but um, yeah. Did I, we had the hanged man as well as your back of the deck energy. Um, I do see this kind of as <sighs> you're committed to this. And I don't know if you're like, you're committed to a change. You're committed to getting to this full energy to not getting to this full energy, getting to this 10 of pentacles energy. And it's almost like it's with or without this person. But the thing is, I don't know if you're aware of like a an avenue when it comes to this person that you could make it actually, you could have your cake and eat it too. I don't know if you're aware that you can have that. Are you aware that you can have that, Virgo? Why am I calling you Virgo? I'm Capricorn. I'm so sorry. Let's look at their cards now. Mm. So we have the Empress card. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Eight of Pentacles for them. So they're definitely learning a lot, Capricorn. And this is what's making sense to me now. And back of the deck energy is Temperance card. Mm. Patience. Patience, bringing things into balance, but most importantly, patience. Balance and patience, essentially, with this. Um, this person is probably in that place of trying to learn how to balance things out. Um, when you have, like, the Empress card, the Empress card is just, like, that character development, that growth, giving birth to your dreams, right? But more so just emphasizing on just, like, I see more, I hone more so in the messages of the Empress as someone that is just growing. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is also that card of learning. So they're growing and they're learning, right? So this is what they're releasing, right? They're releasing, like, this Five of Cups, perhaps, of where, like... You know, maybe they used to just be so stuck on, like, the bad things that have happened them, to them in the past or just, like, mistakes that have happened. It seems like they're just in, like, this process of just moving on from lower vibrational things. And they're just in this place of learning. And maybe they're not learning as quickly as you would like, Capricorn, or on your time schedule. Um, but I do see, it does make sense now where it's just, like... I know from your point, Capricorn, you're just ready to have something good. You're ready for good to happen in your life and you're ready to just cut things off that no longer are serving you or you feel like haven't been serving you. The um, only thing I will say is, you know, this person's growing. They may not be working on your timetable, but patience, temperance, you know. Uh, it's interesting, though. I wonder, like, I mean, I don't want to get into it for them just too much just because it's. I don't feel like it's really my business. Um, to look into it, but it does lead me to wonder, like, what they're growing from, what they're learning from. Are they, like, more of an immature energy Capricorn, and that's what they're trying to, like, have be refined a little bit more, right? What is that, like, what is that Five of Cups about? Two of Cups. <sighs> Capricorn, I don't know if something happened between y'all that they can't really let go of, but they still care about you. <clears throat> it's like, they have, like, conflicted thoughts, perhaps. It's like, they really... They really care about you, but they ha the, something's conflicting with them that keeps them at bay. That they still have to, like, pro it's almost like they have to process. They need a little bit more time to process things, Capricorn. Um, but let's look at this Five of Earth now as the closing energies for this reading for you this week, Capricorn. The cards that came out were the Justice card. So a, a lot of constant theme about bringing things back into balance. Page of Wands talks about a new... Like, pages talk about <clears throat> new beginnings, Capricorn. Um, wands is that forward movement into passions. And then Nine of Pentacles is that self-sufficient energy, is that energy of um, feeling... Just being able to get what it is that you want out of life. So if it's this connection... You know, if you really want to bring balance to this connection, if you really want, like, a new start when it comes to this connection, uh, Capricorn, you're definitely able to have it. But something I always like to point out when it comes to the Nine of Pentacles is that this owl here, and usually in any type of Nine of Pentacles, there's a depiction of a person and some type of animal. And I see the animal as, like, a spirit guide, Capricorn, where their spirit guides are guiding them to go where, like, of where to go next, right? 
Um, so definitely if you're into anything spiritual, I would suggest uh, to connect to your spirit guides, ancestors, or give it a try at least if you are open to that. But yeah, I feel like in order to make this connection work, Capricorn, obviously I don't know what's happened, if anything even happened, Capricorn. But it does seem to be, and if you do want a new start, you're going to have to bring things into balance. Someone does feel wronged in some type of situation, or someone just is like, in the, it does feel like on some, if it's not you, it's the Capricorn, or where there's something out of balance. They're feeling something out of balance, and that they, something needs to be brought, made right before they can continue on. Um, High Priestess does come out as well as the energy uh, between y'all two uh yeah listen to your intuition you know what they always say or maybe you don't capricorn but they say your spirit guides ancestors the spirit world communicates with you through your intuition so that's interesting that the high priestess card comes in because i also associate the high priestess card capricorn as a individual like i associate the hierophant as someone that has a higher connection uh, a better connection with their higher self and i associate the high priestess as a better connection with the otherworldly the spirit world um so definitely seems to be like this underlying message of um, spirituality, which makes sense, though, because we have that rattlesnake card come out where it's talking about being on a spiritual journey of some sort. So naturally, if you're on some type of spiritual journey, Capricorn, you know, it'd be nice to just get the advice from your tour guides or your spirit guides, in essence, right, on how to go about this uh, connection, where to, what to do next, how to even go about things, right? But yeah, Capricorn, that's the reading that I have for you. If you did enjoy this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments and give this video a like and subscribe. And also, if you did enjoy this reading, I'd really appreciate it for you to share this video with a friend that you think might be into my messages. But until next time, Capricorn, I love you so much. Bye.